<laughs> My week has been great, in fact, lovely. But now we get down to good English pronunciations. For our dear viewers, I have to fulfill that promise of last Friday. That is, these words. Remember, that will come in our part or on that part of confusing words. So, don't miss them. Let us get now to two words that many people have also asked about after last Friday night, and they are right here. We are talking about linguistics. Now, the first word, you say polysemas. Polysemas, that is an adjective. Don't say polysemas. We are talking about a word that has more than one meaning. To describe that word, you say polysemas. Then the second one, the fact of having more than one meaning, you say polysemy. Polysemy. Don't say polysemy. Then we get down now to our collections of the week. And the first word is right here. This word is a noun. It means the waste matter from animals that is mixed with soil or spread to help plants and crops grow. You say manure and you can also say maniwa. So this word has two acceptable or alternative pronunciations. Manure and maniwa. Manure and maniwa. Get them right. Let us get to the next word. It's the plural of formula. The plural of formula. You say formulae. Formulae. Don't say formulae or Formulae. No. You say formulae. Remember the other alternative is formulas. That is the alternative plural of formula. So formulae or formulas. There you are. And let's get to the next word. This one is a bit tricky. Common but tricky. Many people innocently say soa. Soa? No. You say so. To saw, it's a verb and it means to rise very quickly in value, amount, or level. So, you say, <laughs> you say saw, saw, with the long sound, or oh. so. Get it right. Let us get to the next word. The next word is a noun and it refers to money from taxes or business. You say revenue. Very simple, but a bit tricky for some people. You simply say revenue, revenue collection. So, get it right. Let's get to the next word. Can you try it wherever you are, dear viewers? <laughs> if you said ad John, I give you a no. I give you a no in good faith because we are learning. This word is pronounced ajan. Ajan. It's also a verb and it means to postpone or to put off. Ajan, adjourned, adjournment. Not adjourn, adjourned, adjournment. No. Ajan, adjourned, adjournment. But there are people who are aware of that pronunciation. Then we get to a tricky word. This one. It's a noun. It means or it refers to the situation in which people rush or push each other in a confused way. How do you say it? Well, you say melee. I know that is a surprise. That's a big surprise. So don't say melee. Melee is very common locally because of what we commonly hear around us. But please, say melee. A gold mouth, melee. Not gold mouth, melee. Melee, no. So let's get to the other one. And that is this word, an adjective. It means that causes division. So you say divisive, divisive politics, divisive, not divisive, divisive, no, decisive, not decisive, incisive, not incisive. And this one, I've said, you say divisive. That is the pronunciation. Now, let's get to a word which can be tricky for many people, and it functions as a verb as well as a noun. Please, you say rebel. When it functions as a verb, you say rebel. To rebel against authority, rebel. 
but as a noun, when it talks about the person, you say rebel or rebel, a rebel or rebel. So this word is tricky. To rebel against authority, so and so is a rebel. You get them right? Such words are called homographs. Same spelling, but different pronunciations and different meanings. Same spelling, different pronunciations and different meanings. So get them right. Such kind of words are always very tricky. You may find yourself, if we have different contexts, you may use the wrong pronunciation, but nobody, nobody in this world is perfect. Not even Willis, that is myself. Now, let's get to this word. This one, it's a chemical element or a metal. How do you say it? <laughs> say potassium, potassium. Please don't say potassium, potassium, no. That sound sh of shop is not used when you're pronouncing this word. You simply say potassium, potassium. And the word that also follow is also a chemical element or metal, but please don't say calcium, calcium, no. You say calcium, calcium, just like Celsius. Celsius, not Celsius, that we always use innocently because sometimes there are mispronunciations that come to us because of what we commonly hear locally and we think they are accurate, but they are not. So let's get now to feedback. Dunstone Shisiali of Udiru, Nairobi. You say rake for R A K E, rake. Then rek for W R E C K, rek. Then reek. W R E A K, just like to wreak havoc. Reek. W R E A K. Now, Carol Ndinda of Tena State in Nairobi, you say mischievous. Mischievous. Please, dear viewers, avoid saying mischievous. Mischievous, very common, but please, that is a word that does not exist in English. You say mischievous. Vas. V O U S. Vas. We also say grievous, grievous harm, not grievous. Then we have cash, C-A-C-H-E, cash. A weapons, cash, not cache. Please avoid that. It's weapons, cash, C-A-C-H-E. Now, we have Patrick Wakaya of Kindube. Temperature and alias, alias, not alias. We are used to saying alias, but it's alias. Mwalimu Omukanda Mwamba of Western. Omukanda Mwamba, you say chivalry. Chivalry, not chivalry. You also say chassis. Chassis, not chassis. We are so much used to chassis. But please, that frame on which a vehicle is built, you pronounce it as chassis. And the spelling is C-H-A-S-S-I-S. Don't use E in that word. It's C-H-A, not C-H-E. So let's get to Samwangi, a.k.a. Samwangis. Now, you say lamb, not lamb. Lamb, no. Lamb, L-A-M-B. That B after M is not pronounced. So you simply say lamb. The second one, lambs, lambs. That is the plural of lamb. Then we have Job Award of Nairobi condescending, condescending, and hegemony, hegemony, or hegemony. Three acceptable pronunciations. Hegemony, hegemony, and hegemony. So get them right. Dr. Mabanga, Dr. Mabanga, and all those who are in Kampala, Uganda, anyway, you say hepatitis, hepatitis. Don't say hepatitis. So Leon Anthony, Colloquy, colloquy, not colloquy. Colloquy, no. Colloquy, just like soliloquy, soliloquy, not soliloquy. Common, but wrong. Mwalimu Elias, I'm saying Elias because you have E L I U S, but the right pronunciation of that name is Elias. Now, Elias Ngetich of Baringo, Mary Apondi, aka Madame Liberator. Well, Liberator, keep it up, because life is about what you can achieve, 
Now, Roger Habimana of Kigali, Rwanda, and Helen Marwa of Keancha, Korea. Keep it up because you're watching KTN8, your favorite segment, Mind Your Language. And I'm Willis, a.k.a. <laughs> the word master. Now, we get to Valencia Akinyi Omondi of Kosawa Primary School, Manyata in Kisumu. You say acquaint and abstruse. Acquaint and abstruse. Darius, if you like, Darius Nyakweba Moffat and Hilda Banchiri Motachi of Bomwanda Itierio in Kisi. You say seedlings, seedlings. And you also say <laughs> Your second one, just say tree nursery, tree nursery. So seedlings and tree nursery. Then we go to this person who really loves this segment, Sarah Joy Malaba. But you say pediatrician, pediatrician. Don't say pediatrician, no. Pediatrician, that is the right pronunciation. Jafar Osman of Mandera, Ismas, not Isthmas, that T and H. The T and H are silent, not pronounced. Isthmus, not Isthmus. Then we have Colonel, not Colonel. Your last word, choir, C-H-O-I-R, choir. That is the way. Then we have Flex, Flexi 99 of Nakuru. You say bestowal, thwart, not thwart, to thwart. Then abjure, abjure. Then your last word is scrutiny, scrutiny. Then we have Prisca Simiu of Kakamega. You have words which I also love so much. Your first word, you say shofa, shofa, not chaufa, not chofa, shofa. The second one, chauvinist, chauvinist, not chauvinist, not chauvinist, chauvinist. Then the next one, you say chaperon, chaperon, then charlatan, charlatan, not charlatan. But please, the last one, you say gynecologist gynecologist. You get it right. Now, Mwalimu Opong Stephen John of Tororo, Uganda, Amunga Jackton Cornelius Osiango, then somebody here called simply Nikolai of Nairobi. Then we have Abu Amne of Garissa, Masi Mambo of Mombasa, and Sylvia Njeri of Kiambu. It mind your language and keep it up every Friday night as you watch Friday Briefing. So the segment is Mind Your Language. But now, let's get to our surprise word for tonight. And it's a common word. We have once or twice handled it in the past, but for the sake of learners, when they ask questions so much, you have just to answer what they ask. So you say flower, flower, maize, flower. Don't say flower. Flower is very common, but not the right way to pronounce this word. Dear viewers, you say flower, just like F-L-O-W-E-R. So this one is F-L-O-U-R, flower, F-L-O-W-E-R, flower. Such words are called homophones. So get them right, especially our dear learners who love also watching KTN every Friday night for good English pronunciations. Then we get to those words that I gave a promise about. The first one. You say gauge, rain gauge, or to gauge something. The second one, G-O-R-G-E, you say gorge, gorge. But the tricky one is this one, the one below. You say gouge, to gouge. Like when you use a sharp you know, weapon or object to remove somebody's eyes in a harsh or awkward way, you say to gouge, to gouge. Don't say to gorge. Very common, but inaccurate. So it's gouge, G-O-U-G-E. Let's get to words which are tricky when it comes to spelling. So, dear viewers, we have triple. Triple has only one or a single P. Don't use P-P or double P, no. You can see, triple with one P or a single P, I've given it a tick. But with P-P or double P, it's an X. So. It confuses people, but please get it right. The upper one is the right spelling or the word that exists in the English vocabulary. We are getting them right, and you are just watching them here on KTN. Now, let's get to the much asked about words. These words, many people find themselves saying energy, engine, engineer, and equity, 
please don't use that sound e at the onset or the beginning of these words. You simply use the mid front sound e. Energy, engine, engineer, and you say equity. You get them right? Energy, engine, engineer, and equity. When you are talking about RP, that is the standard form of British pronunciation based on educated speech. Then let's get to that part. Phonetic or sound symbols. For tonight, we have the short mid-central sound, uh, with that inverted V being the symbol, or the V that is upside down. This is the short mid-central sound, uh, just like in the word, hut, hut. But the long sound, uh, uh, is represented by this symbol. The other symbol that is looking like a three and double dot or a colon, please. That is uh, like in heart. So heart, heart, and heart. You can see the two symbols, so please get them right. Now, next week, I've talked about learners. I've talked about learners, especially our children who really love also getting words right. So next week, that is next Friday night, I want them to see how and also listen to the way we pronounce these two words. Locally, we grow up hearing a lot of centipede, millipede, but please, that is wrong. You don't say centipede, you don't say millipede, that is like saying impaired instead of something that you'll get to know next week only on KTN. Remember, it's the segment Mind Your Language on Friday Briefing, and I'm Willis Ocheng. Also, when you want to interact with me on Twitter throughout the week, you can get me on this. We can interact, you can send in words, just like we talk of collections of the week, we'll get them. So it's at Willis Ocheng 1. Now, on behalf of that able cameraman, Fred Moturi, I have now to say a big thank you to all those who love Mind Your Language, and we now get you or take you back to Nairobi. Thank you, Willis and Fred, for that. Well, have a good night, Willis. To other news, Leza Eye Center has been given a notice to vacate the Sarit Center premises in West.